So let's start with congruent communication, not incongruent communication. So I'm looking at table 4.2 in the, in the book. You may want to open that up for later on the exercises. So you have it right there. But this type of communication focuses on honest messages where verbal statements match your thoughts and feelings. One example is your behavior really upset me. I was disappointed when you did this. And then uh, not saying, do I seem upset? No, everything's fine. It's like kind of hiding what your true intentions or not saying what you mean. Um, and again, I'll, we've talked about it before, but this is super common when uh, people get into a situation where we have to bring in the, we say, hey, this, this DSR is not meeting expectations or performance. And then the DSR is like, whoa, 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 what are we talking about? I have no clue that that was the case. You told me I was doing great and everything was going fine. I got all these performance reviews and last year you gave me a raise. Like it, it's, it's not congruent. It's not matching how you really feel. Oftentimes people do this because they're trying to avoid negative situations. They don't want to get into a bigger discussion to try to show and address those feelings that are not what you have. So first, or how do you guys want to talk about it? Anyone have any insights? Did anyone try to do this one for a day? How did it go? I've been trying to do more of this with my team because I am that person where I value my relationships with people. So I get a little, not nervous, but I tend to like walk around certain subjects as I communicate, maybe like areas of feedback for people because I worry not like I think like subconsciously I worry that it's going to impact my relationship with that person and their their ability or their feeling of like my support or something like that so I've tried to be a lot better about um having more candor in the way that I speak about things and I think like as a manager if, if you value your relationships and you build that trust you're able to have congruent conversations with people and have more candor with people because you've built the trust there like they know where you're coming from and that it comes from a place of support like the feedback maybe that you have with people and I found that that transparency is often welcomed because people want feedback like that 